Radical. 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 So I'm watching this video on Pat and S. Punk's channel called Intellivision Amico Controller and Marketing Info Revealed. I'm at about the 3 minute 22 second mark. I really don't know if I have 22 minutes to waste on this. Okay, I might power through. I am off today. I might power through and give my thoughts on this. Now, there's a point where they start bringing up an interview that Tommy had with ReviewTech USA. And Ian, actually, having zero self-awareness, calls ReviewTech USA a tool, a hack, and a sellout. Now, he actually might be right on some of that, but uh, we're not going to talk about that for now. So, you know. Uh, but this motherfucker actually has zero self-awareness, and I'll tell you why. You remember last year when I made a Critical Satire upload? And I... what did I call it? What did I call it? Pat the Dollar Shave Club Punk Dollar Shave Club Shill, I do believe? It just doesn't really make a lot of sense. I mean, it's a gaming channel, right? They mostly discuss gaming stuff, Pat and Ian. So out of nowhere, out of nowhere, they just bring up these Dollar Shave Club razors. And it's really awkward and cringy as fuck, and they're holding up these shavers, like, I buy these shavers, you know? Also, the thing is, he seems really angry. Ian seems very, very angry towards Tommy and the Amico. And I don't sense where that anger is coming from. You know, Ian just seems like the kind of guy that's just angry all the time. Uh... I just, I would hate to be anyone that is near him, friends with him. He just seems like an angry, um, just insufferable person to be around. And it's not, I don't think it's fake anger with Ian. I think he legitimately has a lot of anger towards Tommy and the Amico. You know, like, what the fuck did Tommy do to you? I'm like, really? This, this seems like, uh, seems like overreaction here on this. Now, like I said, I'm only at the four minute mark. Right. Um, and that's that's bad on me for not doing my research here and watching the whole upload. Maybe I'll have updates later. Maybe I'll have updates. But it was just so hilarious when I saw those words come out of Ian's mouth. A hack, a tool and a sellout. <laughs> Meanwhile, this motherfucker is holding up the Dollar Shave Club razors for everybody. You know, like you're a fucking shaving channel. Yeah, I mean, it's not the only thing. Raid Shadow Legends. Well, hell, at least Raid Shadow Legends is a fucking... It's a cell phone game, but it's a video game. Tell me exactly what the fuck gaming YouTubers should be doing, you know, holding up razors and shit. One thing that is surprising to me here is... Ian seems to be calling out Review Tech USA for having a softball interview, and I haven't seen it. Maybe it was a softball interview with Tommy Tallarico. Okay, that happens from time to time. Sometimes people are just so happy, so happy to have people on their show that they don't ask them any hard questions. Okay, fair enough. Maybe, maybe it was a softball interview. But, you know, Pat, he had an opportunity to go and actually take a look at the Intellivision Amico. He had an opportunity. He could have went there and he could have checked it out. Uh, he could have maybe asked Tommy some hardball questions about it. But he didn't seem interested. Okay, I mean, what's he? What's the problem, Pat? What do you have against bright red Ferraris? I mean, who the hell wouldn't just wet their pants at the thought of driving around town in a bright red Ferrari with Tommy Tellerico? Yeah, there's a lot of angles here. I mean, there's a lot of angles. You got Pat Ian, Review Take USA, Tommy Tellerico. There might be updates later on to this, and hell, I might actually. You know, take another 20 minutes to watch the rest of this.